sorts of people uh, come and see me about visual snow. I think uh, as probably is most people's experience, the patients are generally younger. Um, they're often in their teens or 20s or 30s. Though there are some older people and I, and I have also seen children with visual snow. They are, as we see in other patient populations with visual snow, often migraine sufferers. Uh, many of them suffer from other comorbidities such as anxiety or tinnitus. In the early days, um, these were people who were often very anxious about their symptoms because nobody was able to tell them what they were. There was no internet community. It wasn't possible just to Google uh, visual snow and see pictures of what it was like. A lot of people came and were very reassured to discover that their experiences were not unique and that there were other people out there that saw the world in the same way that they did. More recently, people come better informed because they're able to access information through the Visual Snow Initiative and other resources online to talk about what we know about it and what options for treatments and investigation are emerging.